Is this a new Chromebook, Melissa? This is, Adam. This is Dell's new Inspiron Chromebook 14. Uh, Dell has sold Chromebooks before, and they've even sold premium Chromebooks for business, but this is a premium Chromebook for consumers. And Dell is thinking that you're sick of that crappy little $200 Chromebook that you may have bought from Dell, and you want something a little nicer. So this actually has an aluminum chassis, very smooth, very cool. Yeah, it's got um, some cool chamfered edges. Yeah, a little bit of that chamfered edging going on. Uh, it's a two-in-one. We'll show you that in a minute. It also has a higher resolution screen than we're used to seeing on a Chromebook. This is a 1080p IPS technology display, whereas a lot of Chromebooks still have 1366 by 768. They just kind of look crummy, but they're cheap. They spend a little money on this display. Uh, they also spend a little money on the keyboard. It feels nicer than the typical cheap rocky uh, Chromebook keyboard. Got some good travel? Yeah, it has some good travel. It doesn't feel like I'm typing on rocks. Let me flip it over so you can see the 360 degree. Yeah, it's a two-in-one. Talent, so it's a two-in-one. You can use it as a tablet. As some people know, you can use Chromebooks as tablets now and run Android apps. And there's another little surprise here. Uh-oh, surprises. Uh-oh, surprises. Look at that. It has its own integrated pen. It's a very simple one. It doesn't have a battery or anything, but it works on the display, so you can draw, write with, uh, you know, Chrome apps and things like that. So uh, that is a nice feature because I lose pens all the time. I'm probably not going to lose this one. Let's take a look at the ports while we're here. We have a USB-C 3.1 Gen 1 here, as well as USB-A and a headphone port. And then over here we've got another USB-C, a little mini SD or micro SD, and then this looks like a volume rocker, and that's uh, another audio thing. I want to show you the hinge area. Uh, it's hard to vent a two-in-one, so it has vents along the inner hinge area here, so even if you're holding it on your lap, it'll vent away from you. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, and it's just nice to have a 360-degree Chromebook. I think most laptops are kind of going that way. People want that versatility. Uh, the weight is around four pounds. It's going to depend on the configuration you get. Uh, another really important fact is that this comes with an Intel Core i3 processor. So again, we were used to really low-end, no-name processors on Chromebooks. This has one where I can put up my usual 24 or 30 Chrome tabs, and it probably isn't going to blink. It also comes with either 64 gigabytes or 128 gigabytes of storage. Now it's EMMC, so it's not as slick and fast as SSD or something, but it's still a lot of space. So there are a lot of good features on this Chromebook, and considering that the price is $600, um, these are the sort of features that you would expect on something uh, at that price.